Hello everyone, this is Steve Marinucci with another edition of Beetle News Brief. Today is November 27th, 2018, and we're here basically just to talk about Ringo's visit to the Howard Stern Show this morning, and also to give you a little bit of chart news. Tuesday morning, Ringo Starr and Joe Walsh paid a visit to the Howard Stern Show. Ringo was there for several reasons. Today is Giving Tuesday, and he was doing a promotion for that on his website. He was also receiving the George Harrison Humanitarian Award Tuesday night from UNICEF. And he's also promoting his book Another Day in the Life uh, from Genesis Publications. The interview lasted about an hour and 15 minutes. There wasn't a whole lot of news from the interview. Howard Stern is not a deep interviewer. The one big piece of news out of the interview is that Ringo said he is recording another album. He did not say when the album would be out or give any details. He just announced that he was recording. But we thought we'd go through and just give you a little bit of a rundown on what he said and also give you the chart news uh, since today is Tuesday. Uh, Stern talked with Ringo for about an hour and 15 minutes. The uh, at the beginning of the interview, Ringo and Joe Walsh mentioned that they had attended a Bob Dylan show the previous night in New York. Ringo said that it was a great show and that Dylan did not know he was there. He told the old story about his discomfort during the White Album sessions and how he didn't feel right and that he got the response from the others that I thought it was you three. He made an interesting comment about being left-handed but that he writes with his right and that's how it makes his drum feels off it gives him a little bit of a, a delay when he comes in. He also talked about how Rory Storm and the Beatles played on the same bill and that he admired the front line of George, John, and Paul before he became a Beatle. Stern played an excerpt of Love Me Do and Ringo told the story about how he, he's on one version and Alan White is on the other. And he said his version is the better version because it swings more. That was the, he used the word swings more. He said the story about him going to see Paul and presenting him with, a, with legal papers uh, on the verge of the Beatles breaking up never happened. He called it a missed memory on Paul's part. He said he wouldn't do it anyway, but if anyone could, he'd be the one, which is kind of a strange way to to say that. Stern, you know, is not the greatest interviewer. He's not uh, uh, Dan Rather or, you know, somebody that's really good at interviewing. One of the examples of that was he uh, asked Ringo the the old question about why the Beatles gave the Stones, I want to be your man, if they were rivals of the Beatles. And, of course, everybody basically knows that they weren't rivals. That was just a story put out by Andrew Lou Goldham and, and the press, um, and that they were actually friends. Ringo also talked about Zach joining The Who and said Keith Moon had been like an uncle to Zach. One interesting moment in the interview was when Ringo talked about his decision not to give out autographs anymore. He never really, he doesn't usually talk about this. This is something that's basically mentioned and he, and he just, he doesn't go into it. But he did with Stern and he gave an explanation that I had never heard before. He said that it happened after he'd signed something and the plaque he'd signed was put on a cheap guitar and then priced at $3,000 and that's what angered him. We all could have figured out that something angered him but exactly what uh, I'd never I don't think I'd ever heard before so that was kind of an interesting thing that he said that. He told the old story about with a little help from my friends and the proposed lyric throwing tomatoes at me which he re said he refused to sing and which he said billions of times before. He said he loved being knighted um, and then about three quarters of the way through the interview, he brought in Joe Walsh, who was sitting outside. Joe told the story of attending the Beatles Shea Stadium concert with his then girlfriend, and that his current wife Marjorie and Barbara Bach, who of course everybody knows is married to Ringo for 38, has been married to Ringo for 38 years, were also there. Ringo and Howard both talked about meditation, which they both practiced. Ringo said he was very surprised to learn that Howard meditated, as I think we all were. As I said, it wasn't a great interview, though Stern did get to get Ringo to talk about a few things he normally does not. But whatever class the interview had was lost, 
right after Ringo left when Howard played a parody of Octopus's Garden that was about Robin. It was very a very sexual song about Robin. Anyway, today's Tuesday, and if it's Tuesday, we have chart news uh, for the week of December 1st uh, from Billboard. The big news is on the vinyl chart, where Abbey Road re-entered the chart at number one and replaced the White Album, which was number one there last week. On the Billboard 200, the White Album dropped to number 30 from number 6. Abbey Road was number 85, up from 164. On the Artist 100, the Beatles were number 40, down from number 10. On the Top Album Sales, the White Album was number 11, down from number 3. And Abbey Road re-entered the chart at number 36. On the Catalog Album Chart, the White Album dropped to number 3 after topping the chart last week at number 1. But Abbey Road is at 11, up from number 41. Holiday digital, digital song sales, McCartney's Wonderful Christmas Time is number 34, up from number 38 last week. And on top rock albums, the White Album is number 6, down from number 2, and Abbey Road is number 16, up from number 30. You can hear the show in back-to-back blocks on the great Fab Four Radio, and thanks to Matt Burley for doing that. And you can also get it individually where you get your podcasts. There are all sorts of places where you can pick up this podcast, and we'd appreciate if you subs- if you would subscribe. Send your comments to BeatlesNewsDesk at gmail.com, or you can leave them on YouTube. Please join our Beatles News and Information group on Facebook, where we post news as it happens. And also take a look at our That's What I Want Beatles Store page for links to Beatles stuff that you might be interested in. Please subscribe to the show again where you get it. And please rate us on iTunes and take a second to share our episodes from where you find them so that we can feel the love. And we would really, really appreciate that. Until next time, this is Steve Marinucci saying... Be seeing you. that one market fab